there's just this feeling when you eat too much sugar and you always tell yourself this is the last time I'm ever gonna eat sugar but it never is because then you go to sleep and you forget and I've done this thousands of times in my life I have this exact setting I've done it thousands of times in my life and no one's ever noticed and that's usually how this mental health issue goes about because everyone eats and no one sees overeating as that much of a problem and I think that's one of the biggest troubles of anyone suffering from any addiction. Yo, what's up everyone? I'm Super Genki, and today I'm gonna to take you through a real-time binge. You know, a lot of people know what binge eating is, but they don't know how self-destructive the habit can become. And this is about like the third or fourth time I've done this this week. Like I've eaten this stuff every single day this week. So you may be like, oh, well he's eating this on camera. It must be fine. It's actually not because I'm doing this every single day and then you might be thinking, oh, well, why is he in such good shape? Binge eating usually is followed by another bad habit called bulimia and it's really destructive to the body. You would think it's for your stomach, but no, it's actually for your teeth. Your teeth are taking the brunt of this stuff. Usually what happens when you binge is that you, you zone out and you do a double binge. You watch some content, like uh, some YouTube videos, right? And you eat the food. Now, it's important to note, you're not aware of how much food you're eating and you're not aware of how much time you're spending watching the videos. You're just doing it until it's gone. It's not cute. When your friends are doing this stuff at your house, you should be a little concerned. Because it's not about you, it's about them. And believe me, a lot of the stuff goes in behind the scenes. You don't see it a lot of the times. You're not gonna see me do this every single day. You're only seeing me do it now because I'm deciding to show you guys what it looks like. All right, so about 20 minutes in, two thirds of this liter of milk have been drunken. Uh, we have no candy bar left, two pieces. Almost 70% of these cookies I've been eating, eaten. I don't like these cookies, so I'm probably not gonna finish them. But I'm already feeling the lethargy. This is the usual point I come to whenever I decide to stop binge eating and then engage in bulimia. I'm about done with all this crap. And um, yeah, that's what a binge eating session looks like. It's not pretty at all. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't make me feel good to show you guys this, but I feel like, you know, I wanna be honest about who I am. And I'm having a hard time, but I think that maybe this is a good time to show you guys what a hard time for me looks like. Maybe you'll find some solace in it. Maybe you'll even be able to relate a little bit in it. Anyway, that's the video for today. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, bye.